Hello and welcome to another edition of the WWVC standard frequency comparator repair. Very, very short video. We have the front panel off. Uh, we've removed the front panel so that we can get rid of the kink that was in this. You have to remove all of the controls. They all have to be disconnected from the front panel. I found it much easier to take all the control nuts off than to unsolder everything. The panel itself is held to the front of the unit by three control shafts. One here, one here, one here. And up where the speaker was, there are three, or excuse me, four screws pass through the aluminum panel and hold it to there. However, to gain access to those screws, it's necessary to remove this top panel. This top panel is merely held on with rubber cement or contact cement, whatever you prefer to call it. Everybody has a different name for it. I think the common name these days is contact cement. They used to call it rubber cement. We'll clean up this panel. Now that it's straightened out, we've got all the kinks out of it. We'll use some mineral spirits to dissolve that. We'll get rid of the adhesive that's on the front where somebody had some tape on here. Get that cleaned up and buffed up. We'll do the same thing to this panel once I have all the adhesive off of it. I'll buff up the paint, put a good coat of wax on it. There's not much I can do about the scratches that are in the anodized finish. I, I'm assuming that's anodized. It might be painted, I'm not sure. At any rate, there's not much we can do about it. <clears throat> but it's going to look a whole heck of a lot better than it did. The bends are out of the panels. Once everything's put back together, it'll look like it never had any damage at all. The way we get this front panel off of here, I have an extremely thin bladed butter knife. And what I did up here where the original kink was, the panel had separated slightly. I slid it behind it here and I gently warmed it with a heat gun. Now we don't want to use one of those industrial paint stripper guns. That would be way too hot. Uh, the gun I used is one that's typically used in an industry for heat shrink purposes. And uh, it's a much lower temperature. It does get pretty hot, but it's a lot gentler. You have to be careful around some areas. There's a plastic trim ring around the CRT you don't want to melt. And you certainly want to be careful down here in the dial area. You don't want to overheat the dial and burn the numbers off or warp that piece. But if you're careful and warm it and work very slowly, the butter knife or the you know thin blade bl blade will slowly work its way down behind the adhesive and you can remove that panel. And as you can see, it's still pretty tacky. And if I leave it on there too long, it'll probably stick again. We'll get it all cleaned up, put some fresh adhesive on there, put the panel back together and put it back on the unit. That's all. Just wanted to show you, anybody working on one of these, how to get the thing apart if you have to. Because of the four screws back here, this front panel has to be removed. That's it for today. I'm the Radio Mechanic. See you soon.